Hey guys, so I'm back um, after a long awaited four months of waiting for this to come in. Um, uh, four months, sorry, four weeks, four weeks, four weeks, not months. Um, I do already have the first one and um, 5,000 milliamp battery. This thing is beautiful. It actually lasts me all day long. So the original one it came with was the back for the and the international the n7000 so i ordered another one in hopes that it, they would actually send what they were going to advertise uh, which is supposed to be the model that i have which is the ni717 the north american version this is uh from rogers uh in windsor ontario canada so that didn't happen i don't know if you can see here it says n7000 so the other one that I had, I tried modding and just didn't get the tabs right. This time I ended up taking my Dremel, taking my Dremel out and uh, put this tip on it and had to make a lot of adjustments. But I basically take the original and take this back and what I had to do here, I had to trim a lot of this off let me see if I can get it do this do this real quick I'll show you all the trims that I had to do um, so this is what you'll have to do if you get the N7000 model so this is the original that's the N7000 this is my i717 back this is for the extended battery that came with my battery the back the extended back that came with my battery so from here this tab right here uh this tab actually went out to this far so basically i trimmed this up to here so it would match up with this one here and it actually stopped there so i just left it this i didn't touch now on this side here I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I had to trim from from here, from here to here, because this tab on this side here was longer than this tab, so I had to trim that up. Here, same thing. It was too long on this side, so I had to trim it from there going downwards, so it would match up with this tab. This one I totally took off on the inside because it didn't match up, and I think the same with this. Oh no, I just trimmed it down because uh, you match it up this way on the inside so that they match up. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, I mean it works. The bottoms I didn't have to touch. They matched pretty nice. And on the left hand side of the, uh, I guess I had to trim this up too. Um... This one, there's a tab on the inside here. On the inside here, I have to totally take off. I totally shave that off. So, I same with this one too. This one I have to shave off. Started here, and I have to shave up that way to make it make it fit. So basically, you got to be really careful. Um, don't mix them up because if you mix them up this like this, then everything's going to be reversed. It kind of a pain in the ass, but um, if you're careful, it, it does work. You can make it work. Just the, the tabs don't fit exactly. So, long story short, this is the first uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, and the battery that this came with is actually this one here. And they're pretty much the same, 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, I actually have another one that's 5,200 milliamp coming. Uh, with another back that's also supposed to be i717 model well we'll see we'll see about that when that comes in finally but just to show uh, that this does work basically i put this end in first and then just clip the back because you'll see the tabs back here and clip those in and that's it Everything sticks, everything is good. I had to shave this in a little bit. Everything works beautiful now. 
I just got this in today, so um, 5,000 milliamps. I will unplug this and and uh, actually I, I will uh, take this out of off my charger. I have an individual charger that I use. Plug it in here around five o'clock, five a.m. And by the time I get home from work at 5,000 milliamps, five a.m. till let's say three p.m., uh, it'll be around 20 percent. So finally, I have a battery that uh, does last. So, like I said, this is rooted. This is uh, overclocked. Um, I have my screen set to just double tap. So as you see here, my set CPU. I got it running. Um, the profile is interactive. Difference between interactive and on demand. On demand just takes a little bit. It's a little bit slower. Interactive is it keeps. Uh, I guess faster dibs on when the processor needs to ramp up. So I have a set there and I have the lowest that uh, when it's just sitting there, like it says here, it's at 384 megahertz and when needed, it'll jump up to 1800. Um, profiles, I have it set so that my when the screen is off, it's, uh, when the screen is off, let me see here again. My both chips, I clock, I clock down to 384 right there as you'll see. 384 uh, megahertz and when I'm charging I keep it at around eight uh, 918 megahertz just because uh, most of the time when it's charging it's just sitting there anyway um, other than that I have it running at 1.8 it runs smooth um, the only difference I I find it does actually run better here uh, for high intense stuff uh, it's a 1.7 or 8 or 1.72 runs better there because the, the chip heats up and it starts to lock up uh, if you don't want any problems i guess you could just keep it at stock but i like keeping it at 1.8 if i start running games i'll clock it down to stock because it just doesn't run as good um why do i do this because i can there's really no need to overclock on on a phone like this because it runs very smooth um i just updated the uh what do you call it? The uh, there was a, a ROM update for this, the Soul ROM. So this is running the Soul ROM now. Soul ROM update um, has like the 16 toggles up here. I like that. Um, and I, I run my widgets there. Turn it off. It's got the it shuts off like a TV. Fired up. You can go directly to the phone that way. Fired up. Or I have it set to double tap. Oh, let's try that again double tap and it fires up so once again galaxy note got my 5200 or sorry 5000 milliamp battery and all the cutouts are right you just have to do a little trimming and still have access to the pen no problem i might trim this a little bit just to give it a little this right here just to give it a little bit more space but other than that there other than that runs great it's not gonna fall out so i'm gonna be loving this now um that's it tell me what you think 5000 milliamp and when my 5200 milliamp comes in i'll be trying that out to see uh what kind of life i get out of it